Hey guys, uh, right off the bat, based on the title, whatever he's going to put on this video, you're probably wondering, okay, why am I on camera? Well, just to explain, one of the purposes of this video is to show exactly how easy it is with simple instructions for anyone to do this. I've never done this before in my life, know nothing about the process, so what we're doing is Trevor is going to be guiding me from behind the camera and you're going to see a complete and total amateur do this and successfully soft mod this Xbox. Using the old method, the method that requires oh. hot, the hot swap method it's called. Oh yes, the hot swap method. Sorry about that. So basically, let's get to it. Uh, I'm told I need a T20, a T20, a T15, and a T10 at different stages of this process because we have to pull this thing apart and you're about to see the whole thing from start to finish. Okay, so first what you gotta do is of course tip it upside down. Uh, you yeah. should probably put a cloth on it, but that's fine. The table's pretty clean. Yeah. Uh, now, no. there's um, I'm gonna have to come over that way to point them out. Sure. Um, screw here, 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 here. So these need to come and out. And there's a screw here, and there's a screw here. Okay, so a total of six screws, and that's the one you said needed the T20, right? The outside one needs T20, but you only need to cut off the first, you don't need to cut off the whole thing, you, can, you only need to cut off the one little, you, like you don't even need to cut it off, just lift up one side. Yeah. So take your knife. Yeah. How hard is it to remove these to get at those screws? Take your knife. Take my knife, okay. I was trying to do it with my fingers. Put it under there. As you can already see, total amateur, like I said, at this. Ah, there we go. I do want to mention, doing this method will wipe your hard drive. Oh, yes. So, if you can... And you don't need to take it off fully like he just did, but... Yeah. It, that could easily be glued back on with, like, Gorilla Glue or something. Oh, yes. And that's literally all that's done, actually. That's what I'm going to do on the other three. It's just take up enough to, uh, to access the screw. This is an Xbox 100% retail. As you can see... The warranty seal is completely untouched. Untouched. This is 100%. This is a 100% retail console. Let me zoom in so you can see it better. Zoom into your Xbox. Here we go. All right. There we go. So basically, just remove these. Yep. That's a lot of screw. Yes, they are. <laughs> Like I said, guys, complete amateur at this. I actually had no idea those screws were that long. <laughs> and this is the, one of the more complicated methods. Oh, yes. There's a lot easier methods, like you can buy a splinter cell, for example. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro uh, Underground 3, I think it is. And you can do it that way. But we want to do it this way because I don't have the exploitable games. And... I figured this would be a good option. There is a lot of videos with this method on YouTube, but they're all older videos. Hmm. So that's why I'm trying to do a good quality one here. Yeah. Now take your screw, draw your, your knife, sorry. Yeah. And, and just cut right around that. Just right around. Like just cut a circle, basically. Yeah. And this is literally basically if these things were still under warranty, how they would know if it had been tampered with. Yep. They uh, haven't supported warranty on these. Uh, out of warranty, they stopped out of warranty in 2009. Yeah. So even if you were willing to pay them at this point, they wouldn't fix one of these things for you. Unless you know a third-party repair person who is still willing to do so. It's very sticky. And are these just as long? Yep. Okay, tip it. Tip it right side up? Yep, right, right back the way it's supposed to be. Okay. And then just lift up on each side. There's a clip, so you just might need to give it a bit of a... There we go, yeah, there we go. Okay. The other side is not letting go. As you can see, this is a retail console. If it was, this was already taken apart, this would have not been as hard to take apart. Yeah. And there's your insides. At your hardware. It definitely needs to be cleaned. I just bought this uh, Second hand. Yeah. 
So based on the amount of dust inside, it hasn't even been taken apart for so much as a cleaning. Um, <clears throat> that's one of the few things I do know about this type of thing. So, you said I also needed the other ones. Where do I use those? Well, first off, uh, see that little clip there where the ID cable is? Here? No, no, over in the middle. This? Yeah, move that ID cable out. Okay. There we go, put it out. There's your other screw. Oh, and that's the T10 you said, yes, was it? Yes, that's the T10. Okay. The light's bright on the picture. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. I'll I check. could probably get up to close that if you like. Close the curtain. Yeah, I want natural light, though. Oh, good point. Oh, that's a much shorter screw. Okay, I was expecting yes, that a one's short. thing. Uh, so, I was expecting something the length of this. Instead, it's this. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now what you want to do is um, you got plenty of cable. Take the hard drive caddy and pull it up. This thing. The hard drive oh, itself. The whole thing. Yes. Oh, oh, that's the caddy you were. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so see, uh, you did some. Um, see the wire going across the clips there. Make sure you take that power cable out of there. Is out of the. Yeah. Out of here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you can also disconnect those cables too to make it easier. Okay, so that just pulls, just like a computer one, right? Yeah, be careful. It's easier to use a screwdriver and, uh, although it's not recommended, because we still need to use power, so... Okay, so basically I need to unscrew these, right? Yep. Okay. And I'll just... Are you sure you don't want to disconnect that cable? Power in a moment. Uh, well, I'll just deal with the power in a moment after I get it out of this thing so I can get at it more easily. Yeah. I think. There's a lot of dust in this system. You're the expert here, so I'm, I'm assuming that what I just said makes sense, but mm. tell me if it doesn't. By the way, this is a Xbox 1.6, therefore it cannot be T-Sopped. Mm. It could only be soft modded or using a physical mod chip like an Aladdin. Or an Executor or something. If you can find an Executor. And the third type of screw. So this is where we're using the T-15. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll say that more for the uh, viewer. <laughs> Hold that drive, we're going falling. Oh, yes. That much I remember from you, uh, or, or, or figure, managed to figure out from you helping me with computers in the past. There's a lot of dust in that system. I should probably clean that as well, but... Yeah. Well, we can do that after the video. By the way, keep your fingers away from the capacitors and the power supply, obviously. Thank you. <laughs> you would know that anyway. I, I didn't even realize I was that close to a power supply. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> so alright. Now what you gotta do, this is where it gets, you don't need to disconnect that yet. This is where it gets a bit sketchy. Okay. <laughs> uh, lay that down for now. Lay that down? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have to remove the top off that computer. This is like one of the older methods. So, this is why we're doing this. If I do understand correctly, which is not guaranteed, because so far I know very little about this process in general, we're basically going to be booting it up, and tell me if I'm wrong, please. Then, while it's powered, disconnect this and hook it to this. Is that right? Yeah, basically. Okay. Okay, that's been a, a bit of a pain. Always, always going the wrong way. <laughs> I was trying to pop backwards. So what you gotta do, um, so let's connect this, this is it our way. Yeah. You need to keep this, you need to keep that on. I'll plug your IDE cable from your computer. Like okay. so. Close this. Oh. You're gonna have to move the Xbox closer, but. Oh, I will. And um, uh, I'll just rearrange these screws. We don't need this power cable. You don't need that. By the way, he basically what he did, he just lifted it up and unplugged a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Don't do it that way, though. Tell them specifically what you just unplugged, otherwise... I unplugged the, destroy their, the uh, IDE computers. cable uh, for the power thing, and the Molex power cable for the hard drive that's internal on this system. Okay. But we don't need the Molex power cable, so that can just go to the side. But we do need this IDE cable. Oh, okay. So, this one has to stay hooked up for now, right? Yes, this is, this is like I said, this is one of the older methods, and it's the more involved one. Yeah. So these screws are going to have to go like the way there. Put them over here for now. Yep. I don't want to lose any of them. What, are we, what can we even see here? There we go. Alrighty. 
All right, well, first off, <laughs> put it this way. <laughs> okay. All right, unplug. This is where it gets really sketchy. Unplug the, or uh, not yet, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry, I get mixed up. We need to plug power in for the Xbox. He's not normally explaining this as it's being done. By the way, for anyone who's wondering, okay, why is it getting stopped? The capacitors in this Xbox is excellent shape too, by the way. Well, that's good to hear. Plug that in. So, disconnect your power cable from the optical drive. From the optical drive? The, ye the yellow cable. The yellow one. It just pulls out. Okay. Okay. So that's disconnected. Again, this is weird, but it works. All right, get your computer ready. So switch to VGA. Okay. There we go. VGA. Here's your disc. Okay. Put the disc in the computer. Oh, we'll turn on and put the disc in the computer. Which one is the power button on the computer without the face on it? That one. There it is. Put your disc in the auto drive. That's a disc for the HDR. This is a one of the. All right, so uh, we don't want any of that. So uh, put the disc in. Okay. Click F1. Now boot to the disc. As you can see, it's booting to the disc on the screen. Is it safe to vape around this? I mean, if you want, but... Okay. Nothing to do while I'm waiting in between. Okay, so leave that as is. Now, switch back to AV on the TV. Okay. okay. Turn on the Xbox. It will error out. This is 100% normal because we got the optical drive unplugged. Okay. It's going to error out. This is the error you want. Error 12 or 13 is a good error good code. Sign. Okay. okay. So this 12, this error is what we want. Yeah, so leave your Xbox on. Switch back to your VGA. <clears throat> okay. Okay, unplug the IDE cable from the Xbox drive. And this isn't going to shock me, right? No, it's not. Okay. This doesn't want to come out. How hard is this to remove? It's... I've always had trouble with that. Just... Well, number one, it'd probably be easier if we did this. There we go. Oh, crap! The computer booted up accidentally, so we're going to have to... Um, restart that. Restart basically. that. So then what you're going to do, take a piece of paper. This is not really a requirement because there is... Plastic you know, to protect but, the pot. This is what I usually do to prevent any shortages. Okay, um, yeah, we're going to reboot the computer. So, just yeah. hold this in, right? Yeah. No, hold it, hold it. I did hold it. Keep holding it. Oh, that's right. There we go. I normally boot, I, I don't normally hard shut down computers okay. anymore. Go ahead. This is where you gotta get quick. I forgot to mention this part. Okay. So we need to wait till it boots, plug that into it mm -hmm. quickly. Which I'm assuming it goes this way? Other way. Other, Other way. way. Okay, so that way. Okay. And Let's this one has it. a nice little thing to help you pull it out. Yeah. I like that one better. Okay, so it goes that way. So as soon as that comes up. Plug in the drive. Okay. Are we still recording over here? Alright. <laughs> yeah. so there it is. Okay, so plug in the drive as quick as you can. There we go. Nope. There. Now one, click two, one. And enter. Yeah. Keep in mind, complete am amateur. As the saying goes, explain it to me like I'm five. Click, sp click space. There we go. Picked up the drive. Yeah, there it is right there. Picked up the drive. All right. So now. <laughs> Press finish, found a block zero, bring. I have no idea what all this means. 
that's normal. This computer is a bit slow, so it's going to take a lot longer. Your computer yeah. might be a bit faster. Yeah, you don't technically need a computer quite this old, but I'm told it's it won't work with new. I don't have a computer that has IDE cables in it that works. Except for this one. Yeah. This is an old compact desk pro EN that you'd see in your old school's library back in like early 2000s. And by the way, that's not the computer sm smoking, that's just Sean Bateman. <laughs> I got it zoomed on the screen right now. This, okay. this takes a couple minutes. Alright, so at this point we're just waiting mm -hmm. for the software we put in to do its job. Yep, with normal... So how long does this normally take? Not the, oh, there it goes. Oh. All right, so what you want to do is type on your keyboard Xbox HD at that prompt. So X, B, O, X. HD. With a space? Nope, just HD. HD. Enter. All right, then what we want to do, type yes. Okay, we want to click one. Again, at this point, this is no going back. As soon as you click one, your drive will be wiped. Now, nothing on this is ours anyway. This is one we just bought second hand, so we really don't okay, care about yes. drive. Y E S enter. You can barely see the screen, but it's all it's very similar. Now it's building the drive. Click yes again. Type yes, I mean. So obviously you guys probably don't want to wait, but as soon as this is done, I will come back. Okay. Because this is going to take a little well, while. For us, see you in a few minutes. For you, in a couple of seconds. Okay. Okay, so it's brought us back to this menu after it finished. That took five or ten minutes. Uh, so, you know, like I did, grab yourself a coffee. So what you do at this point, just click 8 to quit. <clears throat> oh, so we're not doing anything else in this menu. Nope. Okay, so 8 and... Enter, and it says goodbye. Yep, and now just type oh, shut down. Just, just type shut down. And if you're wondering why it's taking so long, I'm typing one-handed. Uh, just, 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 uh, you have to shut down by uh, dash I, right? Uh, dash A, right? Shut okay. down space dash A. S H U T D O W and space. Dash A. Yep. No, it's not doing Anyway, just turn the computer off. For some reason, it's not shutting down. So basically, what he's doing now is just turn the computer just off. Just holding the power button, basically. Yep. Until it shuts down. Nope, that's on sleep. There we go. So okay. now, what you gotta do... Switch back, I'm assuming, to... Turn off the... You can turn off the Xbox. You can turn... Yep. Go to AV. Okay. You can turn off the Xbox now. Turn it off? Yeah. Oh, by the way, people say you should bridge your Xbox chassis to your computer chassis, but it's all on the same ground anyway, so it's all going through the one TV, so it's not really matter. But if you want to, you should bridge like a wire from your Xbox uh, metal to your computer's metal. Yeah. Basically, if you happen to have, for example, one of those uh, things electricians will often yeah. have for computer technicians, it's just a wire with an alligator clip on each end. Just one on each side. Alright, so now what you gotta do, unplug the IDE cable. Yeah, with this lovely thing that'll make it so much easier. And now you can proceed to put the Xbox, uh, well first we should probably test to make sure it works. Yeah. But it should. So and I'm pretty sure I forgot to show at the beginning of this video that it's 100% retail on the dashboard, but... Oh yeah. Uh, Trevor, just before we started, he brought it, turned it on long enough, watched the startup for a few seconds, and somehow new, just looking at that. Oh, it's retail. Okay, we can go ahead. Right, make sure she's in there. Yeah. Way beyond my... I, I have no idea what he looked at there. To know that, but All right. somehow he did. Hold the drive, or put it down somewhere. Let me see. There we go, now it's in. Yeah, okay, so... The plug did not want to go back into place. Okay, it doesn't need that tight much open. So I just... guess it's been there for years and was like, I like Since 2004, just, 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 just lay it... And turn on the Xbox, see if, see if it's um, modded. It should be. Well, don't I need to plug the thing back into this again? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I 
Yeah, plugged hot This is common, by the way. I've, I haven't done this myself before, but I've been around when Trevor's done it. And so feel free to, you know, be a little vocal when you realize, oh, I skipped a step. Also, don't worry about it, apparently. It's never actually stopped him from successfully doing this. So. Yeah, this is only about the fourth Xbox I did, too. Mm. Well, third Xbox. This is... Yeah, the other one isn't here yet. For those wondering, by the way, we're actually putting together some Xboxes. Once this whole coronavirus thing is over, uh, there's going to be an event in our hometown uh, with where these are going to come in handy. All right, go ahead and turn it back on. And now you should see... If, if it's successful, which it should have, you should see U Launch X, which that means it is successfully soft modded. Microsoft, that's a good sign. This TV is really dusty. And it didn't. Hmm. Okay, it looks like it never succeeded. Something never worked properly. So we need to redo what we just did? Yep, yeah, that's weird. That usually doesn't ever happen. Okay, well, that's not an issue. Okay, um, We've still got everything here. Okay, um, that's weird. It shouldn't have... It shouldn't be basically the way it is right now. Yeah, it should be you yeah, launch right. X. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're basically going to do the exact same thing again. So we'll be right back. Yeah. Alright, so now we're at this location. So now we got to type Xbox HD. Yeah, Xbox HD, not HBox. What? X, B O X H D. Yep. Oh. All right. Okay, so as we see, we're back to here. Yes. I don't know why it failed last time. I guess I'll put that in the video as well, hey? Eh? Alright, now we're formatting partitions. Are you in recording now? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, if this part makes it into the video, our re-attempt. Oh. Continue copying? Yes. Yes. And, uh, it's probably a good thing this happened, actually, because now people can see that if it fails once, that doesn't mean they shouldn't try again. Yeah. So, if things go as we thought they were going to last time, then people will be able to see for themselves. Hey, if it fails the first time, it doesn't mean you did something wrong. It just means it failed. Alrighty, so I guess we'll just wait. I guess I'll keep it recording. Um, that was quite a long wait last time. It's going to take just as long this time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, see you in a few seconds for you. And we're back again. So hopefully this time we get a very different result. So eight... Enter. Let me just turn off the computer. It's very polite software. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. okay. And so I just hold in the button to turn off the computer again. Mm -hmm. And then we switch it back again. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. So I unplug this, plug it back into the Xbox. You should probably turn the Xbox off, but... Oh. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. We didn't do that last time. I wonder if that had anything to do with the fact that it failed. I, I doubt it. Well, you never know. And so that just goes back in like this. For those worried, by the way, these cables have a little bump here. It's actually not possible to put them in the wrong way. So don't worry about that if you can't get it in. And if you break these cables, which, I mean, anything could break by doing this, um, those cables, you can get them for a dollar Yeah. online, like a dollar, two dollars. They're not exactly difficult to get replacements for, thankfully. They're not proprietary. Yes. Basically the same thing that you find at a computer, which is essentially what an Xbox is, a specialized computer. Yeah. Now, hopefully this soft mod proceeded. Yeah. If it doesn't work this time, Trevor and I are swapping places. <laughs> no, 
All right. Now you should there we go. potentially see you launch X. If it worked. Pers nope. What is going on? This is the retail dashboard. You said you had another copy of that disc, right? Yeah. Uh, check, uh, hook up to, um, we'll be right back, technical issue. Okay, so that time I messed up. That was actually my mistake. I plugged this thing into the drive too early and it essentially relocked the drive. From the way Trevor worded that, based on what I want to know computers, essentially the reason we're moving it while this is on is because Turning this on, like so, even though it'll give us an error, is going to essentially make this drive, Xbox drive, readable to the computer. Yes. And by plugging it into this a moment ago, too soon, before our CD was booted, I basically messed that up, relocked the drive, and uh, so that time, we won't even count because, again, that was my mistake. Make sure you don't put this into the Xbox hard drive until after you have the right menu on the screen. Okay. So. That was entirely my mistake. I did it too soon. I jumped ahead. Which is what happened. I did it first time too when I started modding Xboxes. Oh, did you? Yes. That's a regular oh. mistake. So once you boot up past your computer, because what happens, not all computers, but compact specifically, the BIOS on the computer locks whatever drive hooked up to it before it boots up. But yeah. doing this way, basically that Linux disk that he's using is basically taking over your computer's BIOS. There we go. Now swap the drive. So quickly. Now I swap the drive quickly before this decides to proceed past that screen. Gives you about 30 seconds, I believe. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay, so I don't need to be as a bit of a rush. 30 seconds I've learned many times in the past is much longer than it sounds. Okay, so click one. All right. Click space. Okay, we should not get an error. Everything should go fine. All right, since it's not erroring out, it looks like it, the drive did not lock itself again. Okay, like it did when I messed up. Basically, it just said uh, unable to access hard drive down the screen. Yeah, over and over again. I guess it was just kept trying and trying and trying. Yes. Yeah. But as you see, it never aired out, so it should be unlocked. So, yeah. This is going to take a bit longer on your Pacific computer, probably quicker, because this is an old computer that you would, like I said in a previous video, or a previous part of this video, this computer that you would see in your old school library in like 2001. Hmm. So, yeah. in fact, that was actually exactly where that computer came from, school. What was it? The guy that I bought it off told me he got it from school. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So this used to be a library computer. Mm -hmm. These compacts are nice machines. Yeah. So at this point, we're just waiting for it to go through its process. There we go. And bring up the options. So, so Xbox HD, same same thing as the other disc here. Now this disc so should work. P O X H D. Make sure we link to where you got that software, of course. I don't even remember where I got that software. That's been on my computer for a long time. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I'll find it. Yes. And then click one. One, enter, and type. There's no, there, we, by the way, we literally don't even have a mouse hooked up to the computer at the moment. It's literally not needed or usable for this process. So, if your mouse is broken, don't worry about it. You don't need it. Okay, that's all good. Click yes. Oh, by the way, I don't suggest doing this process during a thunderstorm or something because it may, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mess things up. Mess things up. Power surges, yeah. Although, that could technically happen anytime there's electronics during the thunderstorm, couldn't it? Although, yeah, with two basically linked devices, I suppose it would increase the likelihood. Which is why it comes in effect, get, uh, you're supposed to, you technically should ground the chassis. But like I said, that computer is hooked up to the same TV 
as the Xbox hooks up, so technically it's grounded. In a way. Yeah. No, don't, don't do it now. Grounded. <laughs> there, they're hooked together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop this video because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch this for the fourth time. Okay, so this is where it failed last time, building E-Drive. It actually skipped past this part so quickly that I didn't even realize something was wrong and Trevor was out of the room the last couple of times. So, I'll just type in yes. I did not realize it was supposed to ask me at this point. So, enter. Yep, so obviously my disk is corrupted. The disk we were using first. Mm -hmm. And... It also took a whole lot longer building C drive than we thought it was, than it was before, I should say. And again, of course. All done. There we go. Awesome. So now click eight. Eight. Now it should work. And enter. Okay, and you can turn off the you can turn off the Xbox and the computer now. It is very polite software though. It says goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah. Right. I can't remember who made this. It's made years ago. So. Yeah. Like we're talking like way back when this was made. So. Which is why I'm using an old computer. So now... The computer's not actually off. Oh. Hold it in longer. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, turn yeah. off the Xbox. Turn off the Xbox. Yeah. It does need to be pay stay on during this whole process, by the way, because the Xbox is what's providing power to the hard drive. This is why it's called the hot swap method. Yes. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to put it in and see if it boots to U-Launch X. And if you get to actually see this video, then it worked. If not, well, you'll never know. <laughs> it was a total failure. Uh, so by the way, it's never this complicated. It's just that my disk was obviously corrupted. Yeah. So now when you boot the Xbox on... Maybe. I have to plug that other cable. Be careful with drive. Yep. Hard drives are not as identical as people think they are, by the way. Oh, yes. I learned that a long time ago. I remember back when people thought you could wipe a hard drive with a fridge magnet. Not so much. All right, turn it on, and now we should see you launch X. Okay, normal boot up. Your boot up will not change. But the menu we get to should be very different. There we go, Microsoft. There we go. It's taking a little longer to load. Which is, I think. And the, yeah, there we go. There so we now go. we are successfully so this is what soft we Should see. Yes, this is what we. You launch X. This is what we should uh, see. So, here's what we should have seen, and uh, like we said before, essentially the issue wasn't that the process is overly complicated. It's just that we were accidentally using a um, a corrupted disk that wasn't actually finishing the job. Uh, we did test it, by the way, while the camera was off before, uh, when, during the failed attempts, and literally all it had actually done was wipe the drive and restore it essentially the same as if the Xbox had never been used, uh, which, based on the dust, is clearly not the case. So essentially we just had like a brand new retail Xbox, or the equivalent of it. All right, so now what you've got to do is put it all back together. Yep. And I turn off before I do that, or does it help you out for that part? I uh, know. <laughs> At this point, you're just putting the screws back in. Okay, so I can, so I can turn it off. Then. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm so, going to go ahead and uh, turn that off so that there's no power to it, because this part I can do without power. Okay. So pull the power. You don't pull the power from the Xbox stuff. Oh, that's not power. This one is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's why I should have done that. Yeah. That was blocking. That's okay. There were no sparks, so it didn't cross uh, a short circuit anything. Um, <laughs> if it did, it probably just need to replace the fuse on it. Now, so this has to go like this. You can actually take that, take that, completely unplug that drive to make it easier for you. Oh, perfect. That'll make it much easier. Yes. Wait, won't that make it harder to get these plugs in? No, though? you can put them in once they're uh, once. Oh, I had hard. I had trouble removing them while they were in it, so. If I have trouble with that part, then you I guess we'll just jump in. And we're not cleaning this right now. This Xbox is just, uh, we will be cleaning it, but basically, let me just zoom in here. Not yet. Okay, so. so well, that goes this way, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Not that hard. <laughs> oh, wow. Perfect large. I'll just put it right against the front. 
connect just towards the back and it just lines up the holes perfectly. Good job Microsoft, you actually made it fit properly. Uh, <laughs> that sounded way more condescending than it was intended <laughs> You still get your T15 on there, do you? Yep. Well, it was the last one I used, so... So, question, would you ever do this again? Me? Mm -hmm. uh, if you weren't available to do it for me, I would. I might get you to do my next Xbox I'm getting, too. Huh? I might get you to do the next Xbox I'm getting, too. Why? You're, you're better and faster at it. This was meant to be a demonstration that anyone can do this. Like... You're the one, if we ever do get to build a house, that wants to take over the networking completely. Hey, you can see Rosie, her little rat behind. Oh, cool. See, is she out? No, but you can oh. see her cage. Oh, you can see her cage. Yep. Yeah, cage is not her. Okay. Why, should we do a little montage at the end of our You know, while we're at this, we should probably clean the lens and the optical drive since silver are taken apart. Aren't you taking it apart later to clean it? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, yeah. I'm just showing him. And you never actually had any issues with that part of it, so... Not yet, no. That's going to be an issue. All right, so this obviously, based on where the screw hole is, goes like this. Uh, put your wire. Put your wires in first. Put your power wires, wires in, in first. First, okay. No, no, put your power. No, no. Put your power wires on the caddy first. I'll show oh, you what I right. Mean. Yeah. Just. Yeah. All right. That was right yeah. along there this way, go. wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Make sure. Just uh, you might need to uh, kind of put one in at a time. Yes. Or put them out flat so they go into place. Yeah. Okay. Just pull it a little bit. And then. Uh, Give myself a little bit of extra room to work with. Maybe. This was this Xbox was definitely in a smoker's so, house. You don't need to put that part in yet. But. So essentially the same thing that if you were doing the wire management on it. You don't need to put that part in yet. You can screw it all together first. Okay. Or screw the caddy in first. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. So that just lines up there. That's not in the all the way. Other, it's not. Nope. Those things are a pain to get in properly. <laughs> Oh, so this is, so out of everything most people would look at and say, that's the complicated part. This is actually the real complicated part. There we go. Part. There you go. Got it in there. All right. So then I just put that there, switch bits on my screwdriver. You're still recording? T10, if I remember correctly. This video is nowhere near over yet, though. First, we got, then we're going to, she's going to show them how to upgrade it to Rocky 5, just to show you how simple Rocky 5 is to use. Yes. Because this soft mod on that disc is like really old, like we're talking 2005. Yeah. So, but once you're soft mod, you can. So now I plug it. this in, right? Yeah, you can if you want. Hmm. It don't wanna. I want to. It doesn't. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that just okay. So that just stays out of the way over there, and this just goes in here, like hmm. okay. That's flush. Okay. So all right. Now, now we just put that back in under the Make sure it's all flat. That's all you need. And we slip this back on, right? Yep. All right. I think I've got this backwards. Yep, yeah, other <laughs> Like I said, guys, I'm a complete amateur at this. Don't judge. Yeah. Okay. And then just tip it. It's very carefully flip it over so it doesn't come off again in any in any way. Remember the trick I showed you with the screwdriver. Oh yeah, back. Uh, basically backwards until it clicks and then forward. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it'll make new threads. Yeah, it's it's an easy way, basically, to avoid cross thre cross threading the screws uh, in situations of any kind. So, press that one first. So, okay, hold the Xbox. Apparently tighter than I was holding it. And not that you should not be tightening it that tight anyway, but it's fine. There. Cool. Try not to do the other one that tight. Oh, 
the one I actually took off all the way, not literally right after you had said you don't need to take it off all the way, that's when I took it off all the way. Sounds like my drill's going dead. Mm. I don't know if I call it a drill. Or my uh, electric screwdriver. Yeah. It was literally the cheapest one I could find in here at Walmart, along with yeah. the bits. Yeah. <laughs> but they seem to be doing just fine for a uh, the cheapest set he could find, so only one time have they ever has it ever not doing done what we needed it to do, and that's because we found out afterwards. Apparently for some reason there's a plate in behind that was keeping the screw from going into place, so it wouldn't matter what we had. I still think a good high quality drill might help us on that. Well, not so much drill. A, a drill with good high quality bits would yeah. help us with that, by the way. Now that drill and the bit kit was like 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, combined. Yeah. So. Well, it's 30, but. And we're talking Canadian prices, too. Yeah. So in the, in the US, you could probably get it for what? A uh, buck 50? <laughs> For those who don't know, if we, if anyone in the U.S. watches this, uh, yeah, prices up here, we, we basically get gouged. Or totally gouged. For example, an HDMI cable for that Xbox on Amazon for the U.S. is $29. And to buy it here, it was $81. For the exact same cable from the same seller. Yeah. So, like I said, you okay, get so gouged at, in stores, online, everywhere. So, at this point, you don't need to do any more physical stuff. Yeah. So, at this point, the actual uh, modding is completed, and we're just going to upgrade that mod. To Rocky Five. Yes. Uh, uh, excellent guy, by the way. He does excellent work. He's still... This is... Well, this is... Um, Rocky's 5 soft modding utility only for soft modded consoles. Yeah. Uh, this won't work on hard modded. He makes a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. Definitely check him out. So basically, here we go. I may not know a lot about it myself, but I know Trevor does, and ne so I take his word on that kind of stuff. Now you see how simple it is to use Rocky 5 as a soft modding utility. Alright, so I'm going to sit back out of the way so you can kind of move in more on the screen. I'm just going to be popping this disc in the same as if I was putting in a game disc. Mm -hmm. Should always wait until, until your soft mod boots. Oh, yes. As you can hear, the fan speed went up, so... The reason he suddenly said that at that point, by the way, because I was about to open the drive and put it in right away. And then... uh, with a soft mod, it generally don't read the discs properly unless you boot to your uh, actual soft mod first. So wait till the menu you see there now is on the screen then basically. Mm -hmm. if I'm okay, perfect. All right. I'm I'm saying these things by the way as if I know, and no, it's actually me just figuring it out based on what Trevor's just said to both me and you. So I just push checking as you see on the bottom says Stop Xbox Soft Mod tool. Tooling. So click launch DVD. Okay. It will load. Initializing. Retail, as you can tell, it is, um, there is not a hard mod, it's a soft mod, so, uh, it involves a bit more stuff. Alright, so basically, now scroll down to upgrade old soft mod. Click A. Click OK. Well, we definitely got plenty of space. The, Click Yes. The drive is basically empty, except for the actual, I don't know what you call it, operating system, essentially. Mm-hmm. It is technically an operating system. What's the term you use? Operating system. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I thought I was saying that wrong because of my lack of knowledge, but no, apparently that was right. <laughs> okay, so we want to finish upgrade. Click A. Yes, uh, I, yes, really I really want, want to. to. Uh, well, you are an NTFC region. Now, if you're in a PAL region, choose PAL, which would be like United Kingdom and stuff. Uh, but we are in uh, North America, which is NTSC region, so you'd click that. Okay. Top mod utility is not that smart to detect what version you got. Although I think you can use either or. It doesn't really matter, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Basically, go with your region anyway. 
regardless, just to be on the safe side. Until you hear, until you actually have someone who is absolutely certain and, well, no, sorry. And this drive works a lot better than my Xbox. How oh, does it? This took forever oh, to wow. copy over on, uh, and this is just yeah, you want, your EEPROM will be backed up, so that would basically be if you, uh, lose the draw if your drive dies you can still replace the drive because you need that okay click yes I understand yep and then the Xbox reboot a couple times you should have removed the disk but that don't matter so at this point essentially I think some people if it's uh, rebooting more than once might think it's stuck in a reboot loop or something it's not it's booting to the disk again but well, we're basically done with that now, aren't we? Or are we? Uh, we do got to do another one or two things with the disc. Oh, okay. Uh, so you want to go down to uh, you want to go down to Enter Menu, Advanced Enter Menu. Yeah. You want to go into uh, I think it's in uh, Tools, if I remember correctly. Uh, no, it was not Tools. Go back. Uh, it's in Advanced Apps, maybe. Advanced apps. Uh, config, uh, yeah, config magic. Install it. To C or E? E. Should always install your stuff to E. Okay, if there's currently an application ready yep. sitting there, it will be overwritten. Yes. Error, okay, yep, that's not normal, but alright. Uh, <laughs> click OK. I don't know why I should ask you to denull your key. All right, so now just to show people that it's actually soft modern, remove your Rocky Five disc. <clears throat> and then it should automatically boot to the drive. I'm hoping no one that's going to attempt this needs to be told this, but I work in customer support, so I now never assume people know things, no matter how obvious it may seem. And I actually knew someone who thought this. This is the side of the disc you need to protect. This doesn't matter, it's just a label. Okay, uh, I was laying place. Reboot side the off Xbox, this is account. normal. This is normal, don't be scared, just reboot the Xbox. Yeah. So just turn it off. Mm hmm and turn it back on. And turn it back on. Okay. And now we should be fully upgraded to Rocky Fives. Yeah. I actually had a guy, I put it like that, and he got mad because he thought if I scratched the label on the disc, it wouldn't work. <laughs> And me and another person both had to tell him before he would believe that no, it's actually the shiny side of the disc that matters. Patching EEPROM data. So it's not fully done yet. Oh. This was a boot to the disc. Backing up Xbox EEPROM. And then reboot again. Don't worry about it. It's not broken. It just does that. This Xbox is now more updated than Microsoft has ever done it. <laughs> yeah. This utility was made in 2019. Okay. Like late 2019, December 2019. So essentially, it's if Microsoft was actually still doing the original Xbox, now this is likely the kind of thing you would have. And now we are soft modded, so uh, a lot of people probably don't like this menu. So go down to system. System. Go to skins. Oh, I see what we're doing. And now. then go to default and then click A twice. There we go. So now, just to prove that it actually is soft modded. System. Yeah, just go, just keep going back, back, back. It's not going back further than system. And then go up. Up. Oh, go. okay. So you got your games, you got Home your homebrew, you got emulators, your emulators, your applications. applications. Launch disk. Uh, now. Okay, so it's more like the original one that was on, basically. Only with more options. Just to show you that this is a legit soft mod. Soft mod. I'm going to use one of my backup games. My backup games. All right. Um, we got 007, a black up of, if it would focus, 007 from Russia with Love. Put it in the Xbox. And it will initialize on the top, you can see. I'll grab this. Okay. 
game, click launch disk. And there we go, we're loading a backup copy of uh, 007 from Russia with Love. One of my favorite games. I've never played it. Okay, that never worked. <laughs> um, Checking. Maybe this drive needs to be cleaned. I click try again. Oh yeah, the person we bought it off did mention that the drive itself needs a bit of work, so that's something I'm going to be leaving to Trevor, of course. Uh, but the actual... Okay, so uh, it's not working. <laughs> this is uh, fun. Uh, so what would you do at this point, basically? I would clean your optical drive, because these Xbox, you got to remember, are like uh, anywhere from 18 to 16 years old. 16 to 18 years, yeah. So... If you have another disc, we can try. 18 to 16 years old, so... Um, this is going to happen, regardless. Yeah. I'm going to try, even if it was left retail. I'm going to draw another Xbox, a backup, Doom 3. Okay. Uh, which, by the way, even, even if it is just backup discs, this is useful because then you still get your original and something happens to your backup disc, who cares? Just make another copy. This should work. There we go. So there now we're we loading a backup disc. Looks like my copy of 007 is oh. not. Camera's behind me. I didn't even realize. Working properly. So I might need to rerun the backup. But as you see, we are loading Doom 3 directly from the backup disc. As you go. And you can still play retail discs. Just You can still put a retail disc in and play them. Yeah. If you wanted to. So it doesn't prevent that. So how do I get it? just exit this, right? Uh, yep. Actually, just hold down to get back to your... Wait, off a disk you can't. But uh, if you're playing a game off your hard drive, there's another cool thing you can do with these Xbox. You can actually back up the games directly to your hard drive, and you can load them right to the hard drive. So if you're going to a friend's house and oh crap, I forgot my games, you can use uh, you can play it right off your hard drive, which is kind of cool. So yeah, there we go. All right. So that's it for this video. Yeah, and uh, we will uh, probably see you another time. In the meantime, is Henry still being? Oh, I was hoping my baby would be in my... One of our cats. Oh, there he is. See if you can get Henry. I did. Oh, you did? Oh, my baby boy. All right. Hey, baby. So, from Trevor and Henry and I... Hold up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> See you later. And happy gaming. Happy gaming.